Good morning, everyone. I hope that everyone is well. Um, I posted a while back that our children are doing virtual schooling. Um, now that um, COVID um, is an issue, um, I did homeschool my fourth grader um, over the summer um, with summer school because she failed last year uh, so I did summer school with her and whenever it was given a decision whether or not we would homeschool our children virtually um, or send them back we decided to keep our daughters home and at first it was very stressful I can say that it is still very stressful and I cried a lot at the beginning um, now we are more on a routine and the children know that they have work to do each and every day and they actually get it done um, the only struggle that we have sometimes is if we have to go somewhere, um, I have to go to the feed store, um, before 5 o'clock on weekdays, um, the school gives free lunches every Monday, so yesterday was Monday and it was kind of an issue going, um, going there and then getting the children back on track to finish their schoolwork after that, um, also, because we went into phase three, all of the, their school's teachers um, that they had went back into um, in-school classes. The school needed them. So they all have, both of them have teachers from a different school. It's a STEM school. Um, they they have multiple teachers from different from a different school though but this teachers um they have their own in school classes but they are also teaching virtual school as well so they kind of have that added on to their already full schedule but they're the teacher for every student in the district on virtual um and i don't i do like how they have it because they have such a full schedule they post all of their work on on sunday night or monday um, and then we can see what our schedule is for the most part every day until Friday. And Friday we have to turn in the test. Uh, we don't have to turn in anything during the week except for, for two classes. Um, now for my youngest, it's different. The teacher hasn't really been posting a whole lot. Um, I believe she has two teachers instead of one now. And only one teacher has been posting. So I'm not really sure when her teacher will start, her other teacher will start posting classes. Um, as you can see, I'm still in my pajamas because, honestly, I'm at home. Um, we do not have classes in front of the computer with, like, live, like some schools do. Um, we are going to start what they're calling intervention, where they have, like, 30-minute or an hour class every morning. Um, but because, um, because... We switch schools, uh, like teachers, to a different school who has a full-time schedule. I don't think they're going to do that anymore, which I would prefer that they didn't do that. I don't want to have to go on live to do anything. Um, once Phase 3 hit, um, I spoke with my um, youngest daughter's teacher um, because she was talking about how everyone needed to go back to school soon. And I let her know that I did not want to bring my children back to school. And she let me know that once a certain percentage of children do go do go back into the school that they will no longer have virtual classes um and she told me that she couldn't explain it any further or discuss it any further than that and to contact the school but now we have um teachers um who are teaching the whole district um i don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not but if there does come a decision where we either have to um send our children back full time um, even though they still have to wear masks and things like that, and COVID is still an issue, um, we if we if we are told that we have to send our children back, we will just pull them out completely and do a homeschool pro program that is um just us privately instead of going by the school's curriculum. Um, uh, we are a Christian family, and I don't agree with some of the things that are taught in school. Um, I don't believe that children should be taught sex education. I don't believe in common core um, curriculum. 
I don't think that they should have to read some books that they are forced to read for a grade. Um, just in general things that you learn while you're a child in class and school from other children. Um, my mom did pull me out whenever I was younger, but I don't remember actually having classes whenever she pulled me out. But now that I have homeschooled my children, um, it is something that we are considering doing. Um, Dee's Beyond Bless homeschools her children through it, um, an online curriculum that she has chosen for her children. Um, if there is something that she does not like or want her children to learn about, then she skips over it and that's fine because she is at homeschool. Um, she's not in Louisiana anymore, but whenever she was in Louisiana, Louisiana actually has a, um, you don't have to grade your children. You don't have to test them out every year to go to a next level, um, a next grade in school. You don't have to have any kind of state approval to homeschool your children. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing with my younger children. Of course, my un older child is in, um, he's in junior high now. He's in seventh grade and he, he wanted to go to school. Um, we felt like he was old enough to make that decision. He is not a child that wants to be home all day, um, especially underneath my care. Um, he just is very outgoing and he's a stubborn child. Um, I could say that he's very much like me and we do butt heads. So, um, he just likes to be out. He is good interacting with other people. He likes to interact with teachers. Um, so that was a decision that was best for him. And of course, if our children are old enough and make that decision, then we will allow them to make that decision. Um, but as of right now, my fourth grader does not want to go to school. Um, we have discovered that she has a bit of a, um, reading um, she can't really read that well. She can't pronounce words that well. She does not know how to spell words. Um, I did go to the school and I talked to a teacher. Um, and I was told that they do not do spelling anymore in the curriculum. They are not allowed to grade a student's work based on how they spell. Um, and I was told that is because with the... The things that are going on right now, once these children are in, um, uh, out of school and working, um, they will have computers to basically spell for them. Um, there's autocorrect on phones, there's autocorrect on computers if you choose to have that setting on. Um, so, our children are being taught the way that they should be. And we don't believe that um, we need to continue to have them in um, public schools. So we will be hopefully um, homeschooling them. I want to try to find the best thing that I can teach them. Um, I have been looking into some Christian classes possibly. Um, or just any kind of curriculum where I can teach them what I want them to learn. Um... And we're not trying to shelter them from anything. Um, we do believe that there is a spirit about everything. So um, we don't watch certain things on TV. We don't watch certain things. We don't listen to certain things on the radio. Like most parents, we just want what is best for them. Um, so that is our decision as parents. Um, and not everybody has the same um, beliefs or um, thoughts on this um whole thing um but for right now we are still doing virtual schooling until we are forced to make the decision again to either pull them out or send them back and we will probably be pulling them out so i thank you for watching and i pray that everyone has a blessed day thank you bye